On the Scheduling tab, there are four useful views. Here's the one you'll use the most, the Day View. You can schedule work tickets and inspections too, but the same rules apply to both. So let's just keep it simple and look at scheduling a ticket. Oh, and you can easily limit who you want to see by using the filter. Here, we'll show everyone. First, let's make a quick visit to the Employee tab to see how easy it is to add someone. Just enter basic information, as well as wage and hire date, and add. Then, just check these categories. Pick an employee type. We'll use office-based, someone who may start their shift at your office, for example a floater, to find out what call-offs they'll be covering, or a floor tech to see what buildings they'll be working at. Or location-based cleaners, who generally go from their home directly to the building they'll be cleaning, such as a part-time person cleaning a bank three nights a week. Or finally, staff support personnel, who have duties generally beyond cleaning, such as a supervisor or office manager. Next, if you want them to check in and out using timekeeping on their phone, be sure to make them a user. And finally, to group employees, such as those working in a team, assigning a color can be helpful when scheduling. That's it. Now let's go back to the day view. You can see Becky Newman now appears in the list. Now to add a recurring ticket, just click here at the top left, or on any box at the time you want the work to begin and you'll be able to add a ticket. Just click Create New. Choose whether you want to simply create a one-off ticket or set up a recurring template. Let's pick Ticket Template. You can easily create a new customer on the fly, but here we'll just pick a current customer. What's nice is you can create a manual template, but if they have a bid on file, you can use it to auto-load the template. Here we'll pick Pavelli Graphics. Simply give it a name. Pick the days of the week. And click Create. Once the template is created, you can schedule it. Choose a frequency. Pick the service days. Select a time for the work to be performed. Set a budget. And assign it to one or more cleaners. And save. What's nice is tickets will be queued up automatically based on your template. Now, back on the day view, you can see the first ticket in the series at 7 p.m. for both cleaners. Now, let's create one more ticket. This time, let's click here at the top left. We'll create a one-time ticket. Just pick the customer, choose Manual, Give it a name and click Create. Let's pick a category, say Request, because in this case, a client asks for a conference meeting room to be cleaned after a big meeting. Let's schedule it for tonight, but leave it as any time, since they're flexible when the work is done. Let's give it a budget of two hours and assign it to David Williams. Let's just enter instructions for the cleaning and save. Now, when we go to the day view, the ticket doesn't appear on the schedule, but that's because while it was assigned to David, it wasn't given a specific time. So, if we click here under Any by David, it will open up on the right as needing to be performed 
today, anytime. All we need to do is drag it out to when we'd like the work performed. You can see the line light up showing which employee you're on. Notice here that tickets assigned to two or more employees conveniently move together. Finally, here on the right, you can open categories, holding tickets needing to be assigned to someone for today, or in this one category, simply available to be assigned today, if the schedule permits, but not required. All you need to do is drag the tickets onto the schedule. Plus, you can just as easily unassign a ticket simply by dragging them off the day view. And they'll be automatically placed in the right category. Once your tickets are scheduled, any user who brings up the Clean Guru app on their phone will see tickets assigned to them for that day so they can easily check in and out.